Okay guys, um, as promised, here is the updated video of how to jailbreak your Fire Stick. Um, obviously, I have had my Fire Stick for a while, so I have a lot of applications on here. Um, we're going to show you how to download the file link. Um, there's a lot of APKs on the new one with the newer code. Um, I know I did a video a few months ago. Um, this code has a ton, a ton of APKs you can get for free. Um, some of them will require you to have a VPN, some won't. Um, just kind of click on one, download one that works well for you. As you can see, Cyberflix is even better now. Um, there's a new APK for that one, new update for that one as well. Okay, so let's get started so that you can go ahead and download file link and get all the APKs that you want. Okay. So you're gonna go to your settings, scroll down, go all the way over to My Fire TV. Click on Developer Options and make sure your debugging is turned on and your unknown apps from unknown sources are turned on. If they are not turned on, when it's time to download Downloader and File Link, you're gonna run into a lot of issues. Once that is complete, click the Home button. Go over to Search at the top. We're gonna search for downloader. You don't really have to type in the whole thing because it just pops up. Click on downloader. And then because I already have it on my Fire Stick, it's not going to allow me to download it again. You're gonna download yours. And then once it is completely downloaded onto your Fire Stick, you are going to open it. Now that you have it open, click on settings. And then make sure all three of these are turned on or you have the check mark, the orange check mark in all three of them. Because if you don't, again, once you download FileLink, I mean, FileLink is not gonna work. Okay. So, go back to home. We're gonna type in www.filelink.com. And then you're going to click on go. I already have it in my favorites. So I'm just going to click on it from my favorites. Um, then you'll come up with a screen like this. Click on download file link. So I already have it downloaded. So I'm not going to download it again. Okay, so once your... Um, once your file link is already downloaded on your um, Fire Stick, click on Home. Sometimes you'll see it because it, it looks like this icon. Hold on. It looks like the black, it has a black background. I don't know why my Fire Stick keeps doing this. It has a back, black background. It has like this weird little, I don't know what that is, but it's a uh, white and green type of icon on it. Sometimes it'll pop up here under recent, sometimes it won't. In the event that it doesn't, click on settings, go to applications, manage installed applications, and then click on fire linked from here and then launch application. Okay, it's preparing application. Now you're gonna type in this code. This code will always and forever work, at least for now. Uh, type in 11039868, okay? 11039868. And then click on continue. Make sure you click on dismiss. And there you go. You have access to almost every APK that's out there. Um, all of the ones that you need a pay subscription for and all of the ones that you don't. 
Um, one of the APKs that I really, really, really like is the Cinema HD. I use that for everything. Um, as you can see, they have one for the Fire Cube, um, which I have that downstairs. So I did download the Fire Cube for um, my TV downstairs. But I mainly use this top one, the Cinema HD um, 2.1.9.1. So I'm going to click on download. And you should see a message that says download has started. Then you should see download is finished. Okay. Once you see that, click on it again. And you're going to come up with this screen. Which you should have seen this before when you download um more than likely your um the file link once that downloaded click on install then wait for it to install on your fire stick please do excuse the wires i still haven't Put those behind the wall. I need somebody to do it for me. Whatever. The internet appears to be a little slow now. Probably because coronavirus, everybody's home working. All right, click on open, and there you go. I do not download all of the APKs onto my Fire Stick because it slows down your Fire Stick. What I mean by that is, um, just think about it. If you have 10 APKs on your Fire Stick, there's shows, movies that comes out all of the time. Those shows, movies would need to be updated onto your Fire Stick all of the time. Every time you turn on your Fire Stick, which means there would be 10 APKs that's uploading hundreds and thousands of shows and movies every time you turn on your Fire Stick, which will slow down your fire stick and your shows will tend to buffer a lot and you're gonna hate it okay so let's do something real quick um when you watch maybe four or five shows four or five movies whatever the case may be you're gonna want to clear your cache if you do not clear your cache your um Movies or TV shows are going to buffer a lot. So click on this little thing that has the three little lines. That's your menu. You're going to click there. Go all the way down to settings. And then click on clear a cache. And you should see a message that said cache cleared. And this is just going to prevent your shows from buffering a lot. Um, Let's just try... A show I like money high so a lot of people don't like it whatever all right so click on whichever episode you want then click on well scroll down click on that play button that's in the middle you're gonna see different different links a hundred hundreds of different links okay um you can use whichever one that works best for your internet connection sometimes 480 works just as fine as 720 or just as well as hd or just as well as um 1080 it all depends on how fast your internet connection is uh where i'm in or where i'm located in north carolina I use the HDs, the one that has like the download symbol to the left of it. And that's because it just works well for me. It doesn't buffer a lot. I don't have um, issues with the slow delays. Sometimes if that doesn't work, then I'll go down to a 720. And if that tends to buffer, then I'll probably use like the 480s or something like that. But as you can see, it shows up just fine, just as if you were watching it on your regular, um, on regular broadcast. Okay, so 
you have seen the TV shows, you can click on that menu button again. And then you click on movies. And these are all your movies. Right now, mine is selected on family. Obviously, you can have a kid. Um, but you can click on the different genres and search for whatever you want. Or you can go uh, to the little magnifying glass to the top right of the screen. Select it and then search for whatever movie you want. Um, but you can watch the shows just the same or movies just the same as you watch the shows your movies will show up on their streams so be careful i know when it first um when we first selected the movie you saw it was only options for the trailers and people tend to well they don't have it yes they do you just need to select the correct one but there's no difference you select whichever link that works best for you i know when i watch trolls uh, world tour the first time the better link for me and my location was the 480p okay so um that's really it and um yeah thank you for tuning in and i'll talk to you later